Oh, he texted Nita to see you. I thought maybe that there was a problem. But there's no problem. I just want to see you again. You know what? I reckon if anyone can make marriage work, it's us. I really believe that. I know that you do. But you're not going to change your mind, are you? No. He's just here. He's right here. Oh. Oh my God. Oh my God. He's not breathing. Oh God. He's not responding. Please, can you just tell him to hurry, OK? We're not sure how long he hasn't been breathing. Yeah, yeah, she is. Oh, God, he's breathing, he's breathing. He's now breathing, OK? Is he going to be OK? Oh, I don't know, I don't know. Take him through to recess. They're ready for him. Has the paediatric group's job been paid? And Rick. Okay, I'm going in no, there. No, 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 no. We've got a full team already and we've got retrieval. No, I'm up. a doctor and I'm his mother. I should be in there with him. No, no, we need you to stay calm. Let us help Harry. Julie's right, Rach. I had to do something. He's my son. Yeah, okay, just listen to him. Let him do the job. I can't sit here and do nothing, and Tony. You, and you can't go in like this. I have to. I did this, Tony. Tony, I did this and I'm his mother. <laughs> You're almost done. Someone here's getting Italian patients. Just give us a minute to sort these chairs out, mate. I'll be right with you. It's almost done. Are you excited about going fishing? You've been quiet as a mouse all day. I want to go fishing when the baby's born. Of course we will. In fact, I'm counting on you teaching a little brother or sister how to fish. Why are you sad all the time? I'm not sad, mate. I'm just tired. In fact, I'm very excited, and you should be too. Yes. All right, that's it. Let's get this show on the road. You want to catch some fish, Ollie? <laughs> Ollie just asked me why I've been so sad all the time. Clearly I'm hiding the tension at home. Ah, have you spoken any more to Kirsty about marriage? Well, she's obviously not into it. She's showing zero interest. Well, mate, look, I'm sorry, but that's it. The whole reason we were going fishing was to get your mind off your troubles, eh? Yeah. All right, let's go. <laughs> Get a drink. He hates me, doesn't he? Rachel, no one blames you for this. He should hate me. I'm a terrible mother. I have been from the start. That is not true. No one could love their child like you. But it's not enough. I just can't do it. I can't do any of it. I can't get him into a routine. He, he won't sleep. He just cries all the time. Rachel, the last couple of months have been tough, but they're going to get better. How? He's all I think about. Is he safe? What if he gets sick? What if he gets hurt? And what good has it done? If he has brain damage, that's my fault. He'd be better off without me. I've been trying to look cool, you're not succeeding. Oh, is that right? Seriously, you look like a tryhard, it's sad. Shouldn't you be in school? Shouldn't you be working? Potentially. My builders are in, my electrician keeps on raising his original quote, and the bank just won't call me back. Hence, I'm out here trying to relax. Looking cool, trying to impress the girls. Is that your way of chilling? Oh, she thinks I'm cool. How sweet. How about I make you a deal? You don't mention study and I won't bring up the shop. Deal. Your black eyes fading nicely, does it hurt? I'll be fine. This is a big, tough rock star. Oh, I'm not going to get any sympathy in this town, am I? People ease up on you, you've just got to give them time. Well, one of the locals seems to be coming around, but I'm not entirely sure. The jury's still out. How about you let me buy you a cup of coffee and I'll plead my case? 
How about I text you this afternoon? Yep. Do you think it was a mistake? Love, it doesn't matter what I think. It's your choice if you don't want to get married. Well, I'm just not sure I'll ever be ready again. That's the problem. And I hate hurting my eyes like this. Irene, have you seen I my keys? Swear I am going to hang those damn things around your neck one day. Are you and Aiden going out on the boat? Oh, no, I wish. I, uh, we're sorting through all the old records, and that's if we don't die of boredom first. Hey, reading that stuff is important, mister, if you want to get a proper handle on how the business runs, keys, all right? Keys, keys, keys. Oh, they be right down there where you left them. Oh, always. Thank you very much. See you, Dad. Ah, see you. <sighs> Love, mm. you've already thrown Miles a few loops. And he's handled it fine. This isn't going to be any different. Besides, marriage isn't the be-all and end-all. Well, except his marriage was really happy before his wife died. So the fact that he wants to even take that step with me, that's a massive deal for him. Yeah, I know that, love. But he also knows what you went through with Cain. See, I think that makes it harder. He knows that there was a time in my life where getting married meant everything to me. I mean, Cain and I snuck off and did it behind everyone's backs. I remember. <sighs> I thought it was forever. Love, who's to say that you and Miles won't be forever? I mean, for God's sake, you're having a baby together. That is so much more important than any marriage certificate. I don't think Miles sees it that way, though. I wish I could get past this and say yes. I know I should be able to give him what he wants. Maybe I shouldn't have made a big deal out of it all. I mean, it's clear she's still upset. She says she's OK, but she's still keeping her distance. An idiot. I don't know, maybe she doesn't want to be with me long term, you know? Miles, maybe she just doesn't want to get married. Anyway, enough of all this, eh? We didn't come here to pluck a chook. Let's fish. Hey. You alright? I just can't get it out of my head, you know. If I'd gone into that room five minutes later, he'd be gone. Just like Jack. He's safe. He can't think like that. He's not out of the woods, Leah. Yeah, this could affect the rest of his life. I shouldn't have let it happen. I, I, I knew Rachel was exhausted and I, I should have helped more. I should have made her listen to me. You know? Tony, I don't think it's that simple. I think what Rachel's going through right now, I think it's more than exhaustion. I think she might have postnatal depression. Yeah, all right, love. Look, leave it with me. I'm sure it'll turn up somewhere. Okay, bye. Oh. Oh, poor love. This is Dr Newman. She was in here earlier for breakfast. She's lost her wedding ring. Oh, are you kidding? She thinks she remembers taking it off the table. She thinks? Mm. Anyway, love, I'll have a sticky outside. Can you have a look in here for it? Oh, maybe this is her. Maybe she's found it already. Hello, Dinah. Yeah, Leah. Yeah, of course I can cover for you, darling. Uh, you don't sound so good. Is, is there a problem? Well, as far as getting your mind off things, today's been a total disaster. So come on, come on, come on. Get it off your chest. Well, what you said before, it, it got me thinking. What would life be like if Kirsty and I didn't get married? You reckon you'd be OK with that? Well, what difference would it make? We'd still love each other, we'd still have our ups and downs. But it's something you've had your heart set on. Yeah, but why do I want it so much? Is it because I've been conditioned to want it? You know, is it because society has drummed it into us? You know, if you love each other, prove it, get married. Why is it so important? Why? Why am I going to fish? Oh, good boy! Don't panic, don't panic! Yeah, how are we going? Good man, now hang on here. That's really men. Nice and slow, that's the boy. Don't try too hard. Hey, 
any luck, doll? I'm sorry, but I cannot take this seriously. Not when I think about what Rachel and Tony are going through. Yeah, I know. But it means a lot to Doc Newman. Yeah, but so what? It's just a ring. I mean, it's sad if she loses it, but she's still married. It's just a piece of metal. Hang on, man. There. There, there, there. What? On the serviette. Ah. Ha-ha! <laughs> gotcha! Oh, thank God five more minutes and I would have thrown up. Look, love, um, you know what? I might uh, give drinks a miss this afternoon. That way you can spend some no, quality no. time with Miles. Please, can you just come? I told you, I haven't changed my mind. There's no point opening it up again. So please come, please. I'll give this a clean. Maybe give Mrs Newman a call and let him know that we found it. 